U.S. search. Mr. Hughes, are you finished? They're definitely finished. Mr. Hughes, do you reserve the right to recall? Would you please? With all due respect, Your Honor, enough. Detective Hughes, no, no, I there, remind there's, you... There's no need to recall. This witness is dismissed, Your Honor. Request, uh, if it please the court, a, a brief recess. On what grounds? Uh, just to review the, the current... Is there some new evidence, uh, disclosure issues? No, no, not at this then time. Then I see no need for a recess at this time. Call your next witness. Are you okay? I'm fine. Your mom is tougher than steel. I'm, I'm stronger than dirt. I'm, I'm sorry. Mom, come on. It's okay. It got really intense no, in there. Just, I saw what that it's did. It's really come complicated. Come and you oh, have... Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. About what? Come no, on, I want sit you to down. go home. Mom, would you go home? Sit. I just want you to go Mom, home. My mom, right. I'm going to get you a drink of water. Would you please stay with me. I'm all right. Okay, Mom, how about this? I, we'll go home. I'll make you some of that herbal tea that you love. You Mom. hate that tea. You say it's I never said I was going to drink it. I'm just going to make it, okay? Come on. Adam, why, why did you come here? I had to. I didn't want you to hear this. I'm glad I did. Look, I need you to understand that sometimes lawyers, they go after witnesses like that when they want to make a certain You're point. defending him? Well, I saw what he did to you in there. It's unacceptable. All right. It's just that, that your dad was trying to just... Your dad he was, was trying, trying to, to get Emily off, and that's that's ridiculous. That's, that woman is trash. I know. She's guilty, and I know it. I know, but sometimes the truth doesn't matter. Mom, that is a total opposite of what you always say, Casey I know, and I. But sometimes it's just here, very look, complicated. Here, here. Shh, look, as you always say, the truth is always going to come out, even if it's after the fact. All right, all right. No matter what happens. Damn it! I did the right thing. Yes, you I discovered did. evidence yes. and I presented it. Exactly. And you you hang tough. You stayed mm -hmm. in there and you showed Dad who was boss. Yeah, sort of. And. Personally, I would have slugged the woman. I wanted to slug her, man, if she gets off. Oh, no, she won't get off. She's a cr she's a murderer, and every she jury does. every jury person in there could see I that know, smirk on her face. if she does. I hate that woman. I she hate mess up her life. You know what? God. We're both really angry. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. We're not going to let someone like Emily Stewart get to us. We're not going to let Emily Stewart change who we are. We don't expect any miracles anytime soon, though. I don't expect anything in the next five minutes. How'd you get so smart, huh? I don't know. I think it was this really smart lady called Mom. <laughs> then how come you're the one taking care of me? Um, well, how about some of that tea now, huh? I'll put on the cooking channel and I'll try to <laughs> whip up some dinner for you. You know what? We gotta talk about your dad. I already know all about that. I already know all the facts. So come on, let's just, let's just get out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. Hey, would you mind terribly if I didn't come home right away? If I just took a little walk to clear my head? That's, yeah, it's cool. Just uh, don't stay out too late, you hear? Oh, man, who's the parent around here? Oh, speaking what? of parents, I left Grandma at home still with Casey. With the videos? And yes. She can't take more than two oh, videos man. with Casey or she relives it at night. <laughs> Mir, you are such a good kid. You know, um, Mom, I was, I was really proud of you in there. <laughs> you know, all this stuff that we go through all the time. You know what gets me through it? Knowing that in my life, there are two absolutely perfect things. You and Casey. <laughs> go on. Hold. All right.
Hi. Hi. I'm thinking you could use a little company right about now. Your Honor, defense calls Emily Stewart to the stand. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I help you God? I do. Ms. Stewart, would you describe your relationship to David Stenbeck? David and I were very much in love at one time. And then he changed. He, he became jealous and, and obsessed. He was um, demanding. It was like he was turning into his father. It was a very painful time for me. Did you at any time plot your own kidnapping, make death threats toward yourself? No. Make any payments to an actor to terrorize you? Of course not. Just answer yes or no, Miss Stewart. No. When the threats started, did you call the police? Yes, several times. They didn't take it seriously. Why? Because everybody thought David was, was out of the country. And, and they doubted my credibility. And why is that? Some of it was personal, not just from Detective Hughes. Did you ever actually see David Stenbeck? Yes, at Fairwinds. He, he grabbed me and, and we struggled. I, I thought he was going to kill me. You say David Stenbeck broke into your apartment and you claim he wrote threats on your mirror. I told you I thought David was going to kill me. You don't, you don't leave David. You don't walk out on him. I mean, the man blew up an entire ship. He's obsessed with revenge. But it wasn't until this encounter at Fairwinds that you actually saw him. Yes. And nobody else in Oakdale reported seeing him at any time or any place. No, he, he was too smart to let that happen. But besides, he wasn't after anyone else. How convenient. Objection. I withdraw the statement. Did you see him after the kidnapping? No. But you expect us to believe that it was him. It was him. He, he was behind it. He, he hired that actor. He set up that ledger to make it look like I'd done it. I, I never made those payments. I, I, I don't know where that disc came from. Miss Stewart, you lied to snare Tom Hughes. You lied and accused Eddie Silva of mugging you last spring. You have a habit of lying when Objection. it suits you. Sustained. And now you expect this jury to believe that David Stenbeck stalked you. Yes. And kidnapped you. Yes. Held you against your will. Threatened your life. It was David. And yet here you are, safe and sound. Save us all a lot of time, Miss Stewart. Admit that this was a far-fetched scheme by a desperate woman simply to take a man from his wife, from his home, from his Jackson, family. Uh, to, to get the sympathy of the one person you wanted, no matter how many lies you had to tell or how many people you hurt. Yes, I lied. I lied. I'm guilty of lying, uh, of cheating, of using people. You want to know the truth, lady? I'd use my own grandmother to get what I want. I'd sell my soul to the devil to get it and never look back. <laughs> mm. 